everybody, it's me, Lynn Lee, reporting for Kids First, and today I've been invited to a special press event to help promote the release of the latest STX film, My Spy, starring Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman. My Spy is about a CIA operative named JJ, who has been demoted and finds himself at the mercy of a precocious nine-year-old girl named Sophie when she discovers JJ's hidden surveillance operation. In exchange for not blowing JJ's cover, Sophie convinces him to spend time with her and teach her to be a spy. What at first seems like an easy task soon turns into a battle of wits as Sophie proves you don't need much experience to outsmart a seasoned agent. We're about to go chat with the stars of the film, so come on, let's go. So I'm here with Chloe Coleman and Dave Bautista and I'm going to interview you guys. Hello, we're happy to be here. So if you could secretly spy on anyone in real life, who would it be and why? I don't, yeah, I don't have any interesting answer. I'm not like, I'm not the nosiest person or the most curious person. I kind of let everybody kind of do their own thing and I'm not really much of a spy. I'm not an eavesdropper. I don't like to listen to other people's conversation. Well, well when I was on set, half of the time I would be spying on people. Right. Like, you know, entrapment. our direct. Yes, entrapment because we had our swear jar on set. So I would spy on people and the second they swear I would pop out and be like oh my gosh swear jar you owe me money so I kind of to be honest spied on everybody and it's you know the swear jar is a good money it raises a lot of money so I liked using it that way so tell, tell them how you donated oh yeah I donated to the Amazon rainforest because of the fires and you know that kind of stuff is so big to me so I'm happy that I used the money for a good cause that's what we wanted to do with it so yeah what skills do you think make a good spy? Well, Mr. CIA agent. I think to be stealth, to be um, discreet, to be you know, unnoticed, to be sneaky, and to be observant. What do you think? I agree with that because, you know, especially when the person that you're spying on doesn't know you're there, it makes you even a better spy. And, I mean, they're not supposed to. I mean. That's what he's kind of good at doing in this movie. You know, I don't know that he's spying on me until yeah, can a few. See me. <laughs> <laughs> hardly until uh, right later now. later in the movie, I do find out that he's spying on me. What was it like working with Dave on this movie? Like, he seems like a real tough guy. <laughs> well, he's not as tough as he seems. Like he's he's so much sweeter though when you get to know him. And when I met him, I was a bit nervous because he's this big intimidating guy, but. Once you get to know him, you can just really connect with him. I mean, he's such an incredible actor. Like, I don't even have to act with Dave. I'm just, like, reacting to him. That's what's so great about him. Were there any challenging things working with a 10-year-old co-star? Um, no. <laughs> because not only was she the most talented person on set, she was also the most professional person <laughs> on set. Um, a little embarrassed to admit that, but I think that she was... Uh, by far the most professional person there. But she uh, just always had it together. She knew all her lines. She was never, you know, she's always on time. She's always where she needs to be. We're never looking for her. Um, and she's just very professional and, and prepared. And I am the opposite. No. I'm always I'm always late. I'm not like hours late, but I'm generally 10 minutes late. I never know my lines. <laughs> and I'm usually hungry. <laughs> so so I, will, I will vanish. If I'm hungry, I will walk away and get some food and come back when I'm not hangry. See, he's so, he's so nice and sweet that it's like impossible to not like him. I don't get it. Incredible. If you could team up for a spy adventure with any other famous TV or movie spy, who would you choose to be your partner? Oh, wow. Um, any fam Oh, well, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, that is a hard one. There's it's more than a few. So I did a, a James Bond film called Spectre. And uh, my character in there was um, Mr. Hinks. And I always thought it would be great if Mr. Hinks actually turned into a good guy and kind of helped James Bond, you know. But it'll never happen. <laughs> but if, it, if I could make it happen, that'd be pretty cool. What's the message in My Spy that families should take away from this movie? I think uh, the message is, you know, it's about being uh, people being misplaced. And it's about acceptance. And I think it's about a home being where the people you love are. You know, home is, is, what, is where you make it. Um, but I think that's, for the most part, I think it's about chosen family and, and people being misplaced and trying to just, you know, fit in and get along and live a happy life. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me. Thank you so yeah. much. Thanks for having us. I hope you enjoyed my interviews with Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman. 
As you know, the team of Kids First reporters are always working hard to bring you the latest reviews and interviews connected to today's biggest movies, TV shows, home video releases, and more. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and show your support. Don't miss My Spy, now playing on Amazon Prime Video. In Hollywood, California, reporting for Kids First, I'm Linda Lee, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye!